Hey, what's up everyone? This video is going to be about a couple of things, particularly dreams. And also I'm using the uh, the Bitech microphone again, that $5 microphone, so hopefully it picks up the audio clearly. I got to thinking about dreams more since recently I've been having these more vivid dreams. And it seems to be sort of dreams that are well-pleasing and seem to be distracting from the reality around me. And I'll go out, and I'll be out for a long time dreaming these very vivid dreams. Sometimes I go back to my childhood, sometimes various, just various settings. Sometimes a dream of mine that I want to, that I would like to come true, something that I really, really wish could happen takes place in these dreams but one of the things that I've been thinking about lately is how in some of my dreams especially during my childhood what happened is I will actually be able to sometimes control it or when I'm in the middle of a dream, I realize that it's a dream within the dream. Now, something that's really, really freaky is when you have a dream within a dream. But when I was having a few dreams, I will actually be able to say, wait a minute, this is too good to be true. And I said, I'm dreaming all right, right now, aren't I? And the person in my dream will say, what are you talking about? And I'll say, I'm dreaming. I'm dreaming, aren't I? And they'll say, okay, yes. And I'll say, wake me up, send me back, send me back to the bed, send me back to my body. And I'll be pulled back to my body. Or close my eyes in the dream. If I want out of something really badly, I'll close my eyes sometimes in the dream. I've done that many times before where I'll, I'll close my eyes tight in the dream, and my eyes will open up in real life immediately. Just like immediately in the bed, they'll, my eyes will open up. Or wherever I'm sleeping. Could be on the couch, could be on the bed, wherever. And in a recent dream, in one dream of mine, I would state that... I mean, well, actually, this wasn't a recent one. I'll go back to another one from a, while, a long time ago first. In that dream, I stated something I forgot what I stated I was like I'm dreaming I'm dreaming aren't I and they'll say he's not ready send him back never mind he's aware send him back they'll go send him back so I go back to my body and I've been thinking a lot lately about when I talk to someone I deeply think about that I'm a conscious observer as well as this other person the other person speaking to me is a conscious observer. Their consciousness, my consciousness, we are both focusing on each other at the same time. And then I think of the observer observing me and me observing them. Sort of like the I think therefore I am type thing. Well, I see that person and I see their thought. Every, like when you're dreaming, you know, you have the, the thalamus and ver the thalamus being responsible responsible for that REM sleep. Well, actually, the entire brain is actually working. An interesting thing is how the entire brain is sort of working during and sending out, the motor neurons are sending out various signals during sleep. And it sends it during the spine and the nervous system, and it sends it through the entire body. And in your eyes, REM sleep or rapid eye movement takes place for REM sleep. And it gets your entire brain waves functioning and moving giving you that that dream so the entire brain is active during sleep which to me implies that more is capable during sleep and you can actually this more spiritual ramifications spiritual capabilities could be possible during sleep or when coming out of or going into sleep mode or even during dream during dream mode, dreams.
But what I had happened so many times is I was aware, consciously aware that I was dreaming. And that's something that happened many times throughout my life. I was well aware that I was dreaming, and I would say something like, Okay. I was like, I'm ready to go now. Or, I'm dreaming, aren't I? Take me back. And I would close my eyes and immediately open them in real life. I would close my eyes in the dream and immediately open them in real life. And that's the way, that's the way that would go. But I've been thinking a lot lately about how about how we are a conscious observer and that it's I've been like feeling out of my body, feeling larger than my body. My consciousness and how the person observing me and myself observing them at the same time, it's just something to think about. But I've been thinking about how I've been having vivid dreams and what are dreams? The dreams are very fascinating and how I've had these out-of-body experiences almost. When I dream, I will sometimes be able to vividly control them and sometimes be able to say, I'm ready to go now and go back to my body. Sort of like when Jim Carrey in Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind closed his eyes and then he would wake up, he would open his eyes in real life. That's similar. And, yeah, that's just something that I wanted to talk about. What are dreams? And reality itself is like a living dream. And it's something that is fascinating, fascinating to think about. Because whenever I experience these dreams where I'm able to vividly control them more, sort of like, I don't know whether you would call them lucid dreams or what, but... Especially when I'm able to ask to leave and go back to my body, and I do, or close my eyes in the dream, then open them in real life and I wake up, or in this life, in this existence, and I wake up. That's pretty fascinating. Anyway, bless you all. May the Lord bless us all. I just wanted to share this little quick, sort of a quick um, thought of mine, the thought of the moment, sporadic thoughts of the moment, so... topic of the moment dreams much love peace and feel free to subscribe my links are below if you'd like to support leave your comments below and all of that good stuff i love you all peace bye